I don't know about you, but I zoom out on a Bitcoin chart and I, I look at these speculative bull market doors being broken in, in around a year. And it is one of the things that gets me ultra excited about the state of crypto right now, the state of the opportunity that's being offered to you and I. I feel like we're a bunch of mini VCs out here, mini venture, venture capitalists that get to invest, not just in Bitcoin. This, this video and this analysis applies to all crypto holders. This is the roadmap for crypto and crypto cycles and this massive demand that is getting ready to come into the market. The trillions of dollars that's getting ready to come into the market. This is a roadmap right here. This chart gets me excited, mainly one of the reasons, because we've been tracking, if, I don't know if you've been watching my YouTube channel, but this was charted back in 2018 at the bottom of the 2018 bear market, a speculative chart. And just take a glance at that and look how on pace it has been. That's exciting to me as, an analysis, as, an, as a technical analysis, content creator, tracking these markets. But I mean, in this video, I want to break down why outside events right now make the anticipation of what I think is getting ready to happen even more exciting. We're going to mix in even the macroeconomic landscape uh, into this video. And I'm also going to discuss short term what's going on with Bitcoin and crypto. So hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's jump into this analysis. So I started here and we're, we're first going to look at this chart. I'm going to pivot to look at the US dollar currency index and what's happening there and why it aligns so nicely with the timing of the next bull market. And then I'm going to dig into the shorter term. But I started here because I just wanted to point something out. We've had for the last year, just it's been nice. It's been a nice market, right? For crypto, it really has. If you think about it, look at these higher highs, higher lows on the Bitcoin chart. This is in an environment where there's been just massive recession talks. The economy has just been doing so bad. Uh, so many just outside influences that should be shaking crypto, that should be bringing Bitcoin to $10,000 and altcoins to zero, and it has not happened. We're in, we're in the worst environment of it all. We just survived the worst environment, the 2022 bear market, right? Crypto has survived all of these things. And now, as we press that reset button on these cycles, we're getting ready to go into this next halving. But my point is, it's been higher highs and higher lows but we're not even at this area. The bull market door is being broken. This parabolic phase post having that we've seen in cycles past. I just want to lay the groundwork by just stating that, right? Even going back a couple cycles ago, bull market doors being broken post 2016 having. We're more in this exiting the bear market, pressing the reset button that we've seen in previous cycles. Exiting the bear market, pressing the reset button. And here we are. Exiting the bear market, pressing the reset button. This is why... Whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's crypto, there's room for downside consolidation going into the next halving. We've discussed a lot the potential for continuation breakout for Bitcoin and crypto. And if it happens, it is something it's never done before. In this video, I also want to discuss what, what a pullback would look like to the downside. But the thing, one of the things that as we go into the next Bitcoin halving, into the next bull market and the bull market doors being broken, the thing that really is getting me excited. And we've talked about this. We've, it, it's the macroeconomic perspective. First things first. We know based on decades of data, the year before recession is usually the worst of it for markets. And we've established at the beginning of this year, almost a year ago, we've established 2022 is likely the, the worst of it for, for these markets, the crypto markets. The economy is not the markets. That's something that, that, that we've been tracking a lot on this channel. So when we're going and we're looking at that story playing out, the economy and all that good stuff, we can start intertwining U.S. dollar currency index data. Now, I, I plotted this on the chart. If you see this chart right here, this is the Bitcoin halving right here that's coming up. This is the last halving that, that Bitcoin went into in 2020. Here's the 2016 halving. What I did on the U.S. dollar currency index is I just charted what was it doing at these similar areas. So here we are at a similar area time frame wise last cycle and then two cycles ago. And you can see U.S. dollar currency index kind of consolidating into the halving, consolidating into the halving, consolidating into the halvings. When we got the top of the last bull market, you can just see U.S. dollar currency index was, was kind of consolidating after, after falling, right? Same thing back here. It was falling as the bull market was hitting its top. So it's not perfect visualization, but the story is obvious. When this thing falls, 
we're going into a bull market high for crypto, right? And so speculatively, for the next crypto bull market high, we're looking for US dollar currency index to fall. What would trigger something like that? One of the biggest things, and it is lining up perfectly if you just start looking into the narratives now, put aside the recession talks, look into the narratives of the Fed pivoting, interest rates coming down. Interest rates coming down will bring demand away from the US dollar currency. And this is what markets do. The US dollar currency index will likely begin falling. And that can take place. We don't know exactly when the Fed will pivot. Likely, probably in, in 2024 coming up. Many are saying, I think, even sooner than many are, are anticipating because we have elections, right? So the current administration might want to, to pivot a little bit sooner to take some relief off of, off of uh, people's pockets. But point is this. It's not only just the Fed pivoting, it's the anticipation that they're going to begin pivoting where we might actually see the U.S. dollar currency index fall. Could there be in the shorter term, even into the next having some, you know, some gains for this chart? Yeah. But on the macro, the story is here where we're going to see U.S. dollar currency index fall. When that happens, exactly, not exactly sure. But if you look at the timing of it all, we're looking for it to fall post having as it has done in previous cycles. The timing is insane. This is one piece that plays into this longer term story that we continue to track on this YouTube channel and all of you are continuing to track. That's one piece that plays into the narrative of the next bull market high. I'm not even, we're not even talking about all of the other pieces. As it pertains to Bitcoin, that would be, uh, especially this season, Bitcoin spot ETF being approved across the board, coming up con potentially very soon, maybe even around a month or so in January, many people are saying. But the demand that that brings, institutional plays that that brings, the trillions of dollars that that will bring into the markets as we go into this next cycle. And again, this applies to altcoins as well. So we're tracking the Bitcoin kind of roadmap. We're looking at Bitcoin halvings on this U.S. dollar currency index chart. We're looking at Bitcoin bull market doors being broken. Altcoins are along for the ride, everybody. So again, if you hold Bitcoin, it doesn't even matter. This is crypto as a whole, which is sitting just above a trillion dollar market cap. It is so early. We are truly like many venture capitalists in this space, getting the opportunity to, to really invest in multiple technologies in crypto, early stage technologies. And this is me just tracking my journey. I'm not trying to sell anybody on this. This is me just tracking the data, tracking my journey through these, these cycles. As an investor, it has been extremely fun to do this. And we are so on pace. And with that being said, even when we dig into the charts, I want to do some short-term analysis for the next, next Bitcoin move right now because I know many people are, are watching this. So we've identified this upper trend line, right? And this plays into the, the longer term cycles that we just looked at on those charts. This upper trend line, we're at this upper trend line resistance area. You can see the consolidation that's been taking place right here. It is so similar to all of these higher high, higher low consolidations uh, on this journey of higher highs and higher lows, right? All of these are the same. Each time, I just want you to take note, Bitcoin fell, right? Bitcoin's ready to fall. It just is, right? We've identified for quite some time now the bearish divergence that has been taking place on the momentum oscillator. And, and you can just see higher highs on the price chart, lower highs on this momentum oscillator. It's falling. There is case for Bitcoin to just kind of consolidate further. Hit a target to the downside. Right now, first target to the downside is around $33,000, just above $33,000 uh, out of this higher, high, higher, low consolidation that you see on the daily right here, this kind of rising channel. We've talked about the possibility that Bitcoin and crypto markets could just, boom, break to the upside. I think Bitcoin's body TF approval out of nowhere is something that could trigger something like that. A headline event, so bullish, that could trigger something like that. It would be a move that would be so outside of the commonplace for crypto if it happened. It would be extremely exciting to track, but the more commonplace move would be a fall to the downside. If we put that into perspective, there's our target to $33,000. There's two things I want to discuss in terms of that. Let's go to the, to the weekly chart. 
$33,000 on this weekly. Let's just put it into perspective. Let's, let's fall. Bitcoin's falling. Look at that. That's like nothing when you're zoomed out if that move happened. That's nothing. So even if Bitcoin falls to $33,000, there's going to be people on the short term that are distracted, that fall into a fear mindset, that are kind of like, man, Bitcoin might be, might be going to 20, might be going to 10. This is terrible. But it's, it's a blip on the radar. I want to take this a step further. I want to look at Bitcoin. Here's Bitcoin on the daily. Here's Bitcoin on the daily. Let's go back to this one. I want to take our Fibonacci from the swing low of the bear market to the current swing high, all these higher highs, higher lows that Bitcoin has been in. Swing high, swing low to swing high, a Fibonacci retracement, which would be a fall back down to this area. It's $20,000 at the 786, the 618 around 24,000. Imagine this. Could something trigger it? Yeah, something could trigger an event like that. $24 to $20,000. Let's go back to the weekly chart, put this into perspective. So here's our first target. It's like a blip on the radar. Now here's our second target. If it were to happen, 24 to 23. And I'm not sitting here saying I, I think it will. I am sitting here saying it's possible, but check it out. 24 to around 20. Look at this. On the macro, a move like that, a painful rest of the year maybe, going into the early next year, into the Bitcoin halving, that's what it would look like. That is, that is the most bearish case for, for Bitcoin and crypto right now. And even that looks normal. Even that doesn't even look as bad as, as what we went through last cycle. But for multiple reasons, Fed pivoting, macroeconomic reasons, Bitcoin spot ETF that could, that could take place right here, potentially. For multiple reasons, I don't think this is going to happen. But just look how bullish this chart is right now. And so I wanted to try and just give a nice recap of the macro bullishness. Narratives are coming together. Narratives that we've been discussing for almost a year now are coming together so nicely. Crypto market is so on pace to what we've been anticipating for years since I, I charted this chart back in 2018. Markets are coming together. It's just a matter of patience. It's just a matter of mindset. And for me, I've been grateful to be able to track this journey, everybody, with all of you, see how this thing plays out. The opportunity is massive. But again, these dips are in play. So let's keep our eyes on the shorter term targets, on potentially longer term targets if they happen. But at the end of the day, let's remember the foundation of it all. We are still early, still early stage VCs in my view. And we're not even at Bitcoin having yet. The cycles, the bull market doors being broken, that is still ahead of us and is coming pretty quickly. Let me know your thoughts, everybody. I uh, appreciate you cruising through. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe. Turn notifications on. Be notified of crypto videos, crypto news, analysis, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.